Hey everybody, uh, this week I'm going to be working on the inside trim and I'm going to be installing both inside and outside corner trim. Um, so let's get to it. I had to move my chop saw outside because I didn't have enough room on both sides of the saw to cut some of these longer pieces. Here I'm working on uh, that first uh, piece of uh, floor trim. First piece of trim's all in. Uh, really makes a big difference uh, the way everything looks where the wall meets the floor. Wrapping my way around the back side, it's starting to take shape. It's hard getting these pieces that meet in the corner um, position just right, so I use a second piece to help line these up. It makes it a lot easier for marking the length to be cut as well as to uh, install these pieces. I need to cut a board to cover up the end of this partition wall and I want it to be at least wide enough to cover the trim but I, I want it to extend into the kitchenette area a little bit so I'm going to cut it to be four inches wide. My ceiling tapers down towards the front of the camper, so I know that this board's going to be four inches wide, so I'm going to measure at the four inch mark to find out what the gap is, and it happens to be five eighths of an inch. So when I cut the board for the end of this partition wall, I'll have the left side be five eighths of an inch longer than the right side. Not a bad fit. Uh, so now I've just got to Cut it to width, four inches wide, and uh, get it installed. Okay, the end piece is cut, sanded, edges are rounded over, and it's uh, installed now. I like the way it looks. Okay, I've started working my way around this side of the camper. Uh, so this section of the kitchenette area is done, um, at least on the floor, and it uh, looks pretty nice. I continued uh, around the bench, down the hallway, and around the back side of the bench. And I just repeated the same process on the other side. Okay, all the floor trim is done, so here's a quick look uh, in the kitchenette area and over in front of the bench. And here's how it looks uh, as you're heading out the door of the camper. Now it's time to start on the corners going up the walls and the uh, ceiling. Cutting the trim pieces for the floor was pretty easy because everything was a 45 degree angle. Um, but that's not the case on the ceiling. Um, everything's a compound angle um, because of the, the different slopes. Um, so you can't just cut a simple 45 because there's going to be a gap somewhere. It's not going to line up. So what I'm going to do is just uh, measure out the profile of a piece of trim on the back of this other piece of trim and then I'll use a coping saw to cut that out. Um, that type of a joint is a lot more forgiving. After cutting this with uh, the coping saw it creates a rounded end and 
this makes it a lot easier to cover up those compound angles and uh, it's not a perfect cut but uh, I'll just get a wood rasp and clean it up a little bit working my way around the top side and I've got this um, section of the camper all completed here's a little bit closer look and you can see that uh, using that method actually works out pretty nice. These weathered boards that I used for trim stick out a little bit beyond the wall. So I couldn't just put up one continuous piece of trim. I had to break it up into sections. And where the uh, trim meets the weathered board, um, it also stuck out a little bit. So at that point, I just kind of tapered it back a little bit on each edge. All right, guys, I got uh, quite a bit of the trim done. I got it all uh, wrapped around um, down into the basement area. Um, I got this uh, side trim here. I got uh, that nice piece of, um, of old used lumber up there. And I got uh, trim around most of the top. I still got a couple of pieces left to do down in uh, those two corners and all the way around and even up here in the front so that's about it for today I um, guess I'll try to finish off the trim uh, in another project um, until then uh, talk to you guys later Thanks for watching.